Hello there, how are you? Welcome to iOS Pro Hacker. I am here again with another tutorial for you guys to fix your iPhone if it is stuck at the recovery mode screen. So if your iPhone, iPad or iPod is stuck at this type of screen, if your device is not turning on, so this is the video for you. So you can easily fix all of these problems without losing your data. If your iPhone is not turning on, so it mostly happens when we update our phone or restore the phone, jailbreaking it. So don't worry, I'll show you the solution for it in the video. Enough talking, let's start our video. So guys, you cannot fix your iPhone without computer. So you need a PC or Mac to fix it up. And now all you need to do is to connect your iPhone to the computer. Make sure to use good quality data cables. Otherwise you may get some problems in fixing the iPhone. Now let me tell you that there are two ways to fix your iPhone. The first method is the iTunes method and the second method which is very quick it's re-iBoot method. I'll show you both ways to fix the iPhone. If you have installed iTunes in your PC so open it up. If you have not installed it, install it now. You will find the link in the description of this video. Now open iTunes. In iTunes, you will see your connected iDevice. So it is very simple to fix our phone by just pressing the update button on iTunes. If you press the restore button, your all the data will erase from your iPhone. So avoid pressing the restore button, use the update button. After you tap on the update button on iTunes, you will see the pop up now. Here tap on the agree button. After that, the iTunes will download a firmware file for updating and fixing the iPhone. And after the download completes, the iTunes will automatically update and fix your iPhone without losing its data. So keep your iPhone connected with computer. But if your iPhone is stuck on recovery mode, so I don't recommend and suggest you to use the iTunes because it will take a lot of time to download the firmware file and fixing the iPhone. So I have a very quick solution for you to get the phone out from the recovery mode instantly without losing the data. All you need to do is just go ahead to the browser, search for the Tenorshare re-iBot, Google it, or you will also find a direct download link in the description of this video. So we're gonna download and install this Tenorshare re-iBot software in our PC, which will help us to get our iOS device out from the recovery mode instantly in a single click. This will fix our problem without losing the data. Don't worry, it's totally free. We can fix our iOS device for absolutely free if it is stuck at recovery mode. So this Tenorshare re-iBoot can help us to get out our phone from the recovery mode without losing the data. If your iPhone is stuck at white or black Apple logo screen or stuck at the boot loop issue or any other issue which is preventing your iPhone from turning on, so it can also fix all of these problems without losing the data. So enough talking, let's download and install this in our computer. It's available for Windows and Mac as well. So I'm gonna download the Windows version because I'm running Windows right now. All right, let's open the setup file and install it. So just follow the instructions on the screen to install the software. After you install the re iBot, open it up. Now make sure to connect your iPhone. After connecting the device, you will see a big exit recovery mod button on the screen. So to fix your iPhone, just tap on this exit recovery mod button here and it will going to resolve the issue uh, without losing the data. So as you can see on my screen, my iPhone restarts and fixed the recovery mod issue. You can see I have not lost the data. Actually, it's a new iPhone for the video purposes only. Uh, so that's why I haven't installed any applications in the iPhone. That's why it's not showing up anything on iPhone right now. There's, there's no application installed. All right. Anyways, so this is how you can quickly get your iDevice out from the recovery mode. Now let's come to the second thing. So guys, if you have tried this method, but your iPhone is still not turning on and stuck at the recovery mode again, or stuck at white or black Apple logo screen or any other stuck issue you're having. So you need to fully update your iPhone to fix it. 
Go back to the reiBoot software and tap on the repair operating system. So now just tap on the fix now button. And now you will need to first put your iPhone into the recovery mode. So follow the instructions here to put the phone into the recovery mode. If your iPhone have already in recovery mode, so you can skip this part. But if your iPhone is not in recovery mode, so first put the iPhone into the recovery mode by following the instructions shown on the screen. After putting the phone into the recovery mode, next you need to tap on the download button to download the update file, the firmware file of an iPhone. So let me clear to you that Tenorshare re-iBoot is not free on this part. You need to purchase it. But don't worry, if you cannot purchase it, you can always use iTunes to fix your iPhone for free. But if the iTunes is not working for you, so you can try this Tenorshare Re-iBoot software also. I'm also giving free licenses of Tenorshare Re-iBoot software. You can check out in the description of this video for the free giveaway of license code. So now it is downloading the iOS update file, the firmware file. So it may take time depends on your internet speed. After the download completes, keep your iOS device connected with the computer. It will automatically start repairing your iPhone. It normally takes five to seven minutes. Yeah, so you can fix your iPhone easily by following the method as shown in this video. I hope it helped you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like button and comment the video. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, so subscribe it now for latest helpful iOS tutorials. Do also support me at Patreon so it will help me to make more content for you. See you later in the next video. Peace. You know that you can protect your iPhone photos or videos or anything without any application. I don't think so that you already know about this. So just set up a passcode and turn on the Touch ID or the new Amazing Face ID in the Not Settings. Now select the media files or any kind of file that you want to protect. I'm gonna protect some photos to show you guys how it works. Press that little blue arrow at the left bottom of the screen. Tap on the arrow which is on the top right corner to log the files. So now this is your personal safe place to protect the secret data. No application needed. This is beauty. Only you can access this place. So thank you so much for watching this video. Now you have your personal vault. 
iOS Pro Hacker. Subscribe.